Alright. Rebirth. I am switching around like crazy tonight. No, let's just play as Isaac. I don't know. I think I'm tired. I, I think I've spent one too many nights. Wow, this is like the easiest room I've entered into in quite a while. Let's just move the mic around and kind of take a relaxed pose here for whatever reason. I don't know. I've been like super intense about everything today and I think I think I need to just like chill out and relax and kind of do whatever. I'm not sure how I'm going to do on this run. You never really know an Isaac. You never really know. Hey, I found the boss room. Have not found the item room yet, though. Let's go back. And we get the death card. Hey, that might actually work out in our favor. Also, should probably switch the uh, stream over to Binding of Isaac. I'd have to get out of my relaxed pose to do it. I don't have anybody else to do it for me. So, we get Lemon Party. Yeah, oh, I was really hoping I'd get a really early tears up. That'd be beautiful. Unfortunately not. Let's see what we got in the extra long room. Hopefully it's something I can death card fairly. Yep. Screw you guys. Probably should have saved that for something a little bit more vital. But anyway, we get number one. Number one. Well, we've got we've got the tiers up I requested. Unfortunately, our range down is going to be a problem. Eh. Jeez. Super gluttony. Really? First floor, too. Well, that is actually... I've, I've run into worse. Fortunately, number one is actually kind of working against us here, because I do not... God damn it. We got the lard, guys. We got the lard. 2 HP. Yeah. All right, so uh, there, there's no way we're going to be able to get to that or the key, which flummoxes me uh, more than a little. Not the end of the world, though, and we're fighting against this nonsense. Whatever the... Sh little Steven? Or just Steven? I don't know. Okay. Okay. You're not allowed to hit me. I'm too magical for that. Look at the ow. Well, ne never mind. I should probably actually pay attention to what I'm doing. I don't know why I was looking at my health bar for a second because main goal here: don't get hit by these guys. At least they're not shooting anymore. That bit's nice. And the the well, we don't have to worry about to deal with the devil either. All we have to do is beat the shit out of people slowly, surely, and viciously. Beatings will continue until morale improves. Anyway, we get little Steven. He's not exactly the best item in the world, but at the same time, having an extra uh, source of damage, super nice. I don't see any tinted uh, tinted rocks, though, which is not good. I'm going to quickly... going to quickly back up, check this room. Tinted, 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 nothing. Okay, there is, there is like, nothing usable in this floor. I want to... Try and blow my way into the secret room, but I get the feeling it's not going to do us any good. And by do us any good, I truly just mean I don't know why, if I want to waste the bomb, just in case we get a very lucky tinted rock almost immediately. Nope. And we get the Curse of the Lost. Great. No map. That's okay. I barely even use the map. Come to think of it. I kind of do, but like normally my sense of direction is actually pretty good. I just have to, you know, not faff about too much here. Oh man, I needed that key. I have to remember these black spiders will charge at me. So I can't trust them. Hey, there's our there's our spirit heart. It's not the one we specifically wanted, but it is very welcome nonetheless. Let's see if I can actually take out the tall spider first. Yeah, I got it. And then I can take out the spider nest and everything is brilliant. Let's just make sure we're not stuck in the web and getting totally smoked here. Because I don't want to get flammoxed by spears. I don't know why English has decided to go out the window for the time being, but that said, death, destruction, please don't hurt me. I really want to hold on to this black heart, considering the last run could have gone wonderfully if I had managed to hold on to all of my, you know, spirit hearts. Instead, I was a dummy and took way too much damage for no good reason. It was fun, though. It was fun. All right, and that looks like a lemon party pill, which is, yeah, it could be worse. No keys yet, though, which is a problem. Right, so we get we get Lemon Party and we get Justice. We're going to pop Justice. There's our key. Means we can go into the item room. All right, Curse of the Lost can't do anything. But we've got Lemon Party. No reason to go into the shop. Let's check out what's in here. Concussive Tears. Ain't bad. Um, we're going to hold off on it. Actually, no. We're going to go with Concussive Tears. Concussive, concussive Tears. Are really good especially if we can get the luck up because well that's gonna give us some nice boosts here and there i just need to you know get that deal with the oh, man really what a hmm. 
There, there's our tin. Oh, there, there's another tinted rock. Beautiful. Oh, balls. Don't want to be there. Okay. Whew. Would have loved to actually blow him up in the appropriate position, but that said, we get another key, another bomb, and another spirit heart. Beautiful. Okay. So this is... I can't think of a better use for Lemon Party than right now. Oh, God. Wow, it took it took them out. They showed up behind me, and got bunched for it. All right. So we lost half of his Spirit Heart, but that was a very good tactical Lemon Party. I was really hoping I could get him to blow him up. Oh, he doesn't blow up. He's not the variety that does. Okay, thank you, number one. We were in kind of Bad News Bears uh, territory just for a second, but the bears are apparently hibernating, which kind of makes sense. It's freaking January, and I forgot just how much scoot those tall spiders have. I wonder if... I wonder if they can actually do damage to you by running into you. I've never tested that. Anyway, uh, we have a reroll if we... Uh, spare reroll if we need it. Apart from that, I don't know. Who are we fighting the haunt? Eh. Oh, wait, shit. This is actually going to be kind of frustrating. The thing, thing with the haunt is, I have short range. But at least I got a little, little Steven. Like, can't discount his co contribution to the war effort. Because little Steven's got homing tears. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Okay. Because, okay, it's making the haunt freak the fuck out, though. It's weird. Don't like it when he does that. Okay, yeah, ha haunt ain't shit right now. Number one is not going to screw me over too much. As, as long as he doesn't hit me with that blood laser and corner... Never mind. I was going to say, as long as he doesn't corner me, I'm not in a bad position. But it worked out. Okay, so we get growth hormones, speed and damage up. Thought so. And we get some interesting options here. So, ugh. Rotten Baby ain't bad. Nail is pretty good, but at the same time, we lose our rerolls really early on in favor of a lot of spirit hearts. That is... Not a bad trade-off, actually. And rocks, breaking rocks. All right, so I'm going to pick up the Rotten Baby. Always like him. And we're going to go with the Nail. This is probably going to be extraordinarily dumb. Probably should have actually waited on that and used that on a rocky room. All right, well, uh, goodbye D6. Eh, this can't backfire at all, can it? All right, so what we're going to do, blow the tar out of that. Get this. Use the nail again. Yeah, that was absolutely worth it. And I'm really hoping I can get the small rock from this. It's unlikely, but it would be nice. Alright. Nothing. But we got three spirit hearts right now, which is pretty encouraging. And we got a damage up. I'm just going to quickly do a double check. Yep, no more t no more, uh, no more, more tinted rocks. So, let's just get out of here. There's nothing left for me on this floor. What we're going to need is uh, better item charge stuff. Lots of batteries. Stuff like that. Cross my fingers... Curse of the Unknown. Great. So now I don't know how much health I have. That's okay. I know I have three. And, it, like, that is more of a problem on the womb, I think. Oh, hey. There's a free Red Heart container. Perfect. Just gotta make sure I don't get surprised. Okay. Unfortunately, Rotten Baby is not working with me here. Well, it sometimes is. The, sometimes those flies prime themselves. Sometimes they just don't want to give a shit. Oh. Okay, good. My bomb is still there. Tinted. Wow, that is quite the payload. So we get balls of steel and amnesia. Well, I'm already pretending everything is... Okay, well, that was a smorgasbord of explosions, and I'm very glad I was not hit by any of them. All right, so we've discovered what the balls of steel is. Our damage? I don't think our damage... Oh, wait, no. Our, our damage did go up by one. Um, and I'm gonna hold off on using the nail for two more rooms. Right, Amnesia. Man, we have both the Curse of the Unknown and Curse of the Lost at the same time. That's nuts. Oh, well, yeah. The, ni the nice thing is, because we've got number one and Concussive Tears, and this is why I didn't want to immediately reroll it. Wow, I didn't reroll anything this run. Uh, reason why I didn't want to reroll it was because... Number one is actually like, oh god, is the room of the kamikaze everything? This shit. Alright, well. That was 
All right, we get to tears up and full health. Great, full health is worthless to us, but we get to bring the nail into the boss fight, which is pretty much perfect. I don't know, if, I don't actually know if it's like uh, better or worse than the Book of Belial, but oh yeah, we're gonna need it for this room. Absolutely. I don't wanna get trapped by anything. And unfortunately, I pretty much have to fight this guy. Super close range. Okay, stop that. Ah, uh, nuts, he did get a hit in on me. Not welcome. You got two. Get the cube of meat. Really wish I had a reroll right now, but not the end of the world. Now, Krampus. That is actually probably the best time for Krampus to show up. Because I do loads of damage, apparently. And we get the lump of coal and a red chest. Red chest has spiders in it. Man, if it if it had, like, a guppy item for us, ooh, I'd be so happy. Well, luckily, uh, we had the balls of steel, so... And, and we've got that eternal heart, unless we somehow mysteriously lost it, which I doubt we did. So, overall, things are looking really good for us. I don't know if I found the item room on this floor yet. Well, it's okay, because the other thing we want to do is farm this entire... Jeez, that is loads of pills. I think that might even be a balls of steel. Nope, it's a full health, and we get a spirit heart for our troubles. Beautiful. And we get a luck up. Yeah! No, man, this is... This is like a really lucky run, and we get Ghost Baby. Our arsenal is growing. It's great. Because we got Spectral Tears, Homing Tears, and uh, Fly Generation of a sort. So we get a Battle Room. Okay, thank you, Cube of Meat. Yeah, I forgot. We also have the Cube of Meat. Uh, it'd be really neat if... Yeah, I don't want that. I can't use that. Okay. No reason to stick around here. Let's see what else we got. I don't really want to go into the shop. I considered it, but A, we don't have any keys, and B, if we did, we're probably going to need it for future item rooms. Yep, that's not going to get us anything. And we're in the long room. Okay, so this is this is all we got. That's fine. I'm kind of sick of this floor anyway, because not only do I not know what my health is, but I also don't know where I'm going. So, unless there's something I missed, tally-ho! <sighs> Let's see what we're doing. Okay, so yeah, we have more than enough health. Did not actually lose that much on the previous floor. Which is perfect. Free secret room. No trouble. Fortunately, oh yes, I can get to this pill. What is it? Don't know. Pretty fly. Alright, works for me. And what else do we got? Coinage. Hmm. Now, we do have the... Damn it! We do have the nail, so going into the curse room is not actually a super bad idea. It's not the greatest, but it's not a bad idea. Also, we can go into the boss trap room, come to think of it. Ooh, it's tempting. I'm gonna see if I can farm a nail charge, though. This is not going well for me. I, I am relying on my DPS a little bit too much here. And my avoidance is kind of sucking as a result. But yeah. Oh, we're gonna need a key, too. So, we might actually have to go into both, both the curse room... And the boss boss trap room, if we're going to get what we want here. Well, let's let's see if the boss trap room has anything nice first. But uh, before that, I need to get that nail charge. Because if, if I can have a, DPS, a solid DPS boost for, you know, several bosses in a row. Hello, key. All right. So we might not have to go into the curse room. I might do it anyway, but at the same time, uh, we'll see how much damage we take. If I do go in, it's going to be after we do everything else. So, what do we got here? Wow, really? It's like a party. And I have... Oh, what am I missing? I guess I'm technically missing charm tiers? If I want to talk about, like, different tier types. But, like, we are... We are just loaded with random tier effects today. We've got, you know, the headless baby for the ground damage. We've got spectral tiers. We've got... we got everything. It's like, uh... It's a smorgasbord. I love it. And we we do actually have the the charge. All right, let's go see about that boss trap room. There's nothing random that will hurt me along the way. Okay, that's good. Nail first, and then open the shit out of these. Yeah, pair of spirit hearts works out great. And we since we got the luck toe, let's just pretty fly the shit out of ourselves. 
so many pretty flies. Actually, interestingly enough, pretty fly does not um, stack with itself, as far as I can tell. And we're fighting peep. Yeah, this is the reason why we wanted the nail. Look at our, look at the damage go. Uh, hopefully, I can get some like actual passive damage boost here, because the thing is, the nail is a pretty good damage boost, but it's not reliable. Okay, he actually went to a more convenient location. But I, uh, I, if I had like a really consistent damage boost for uh, every room that we're not popping the nail, a hey, free coin. Ooh, I can go into the shop. Uh, that'd be good. Anyway, uh, the red chests are being kind to me. Let's see what we got in the shop. Please be. Oh, it's not the shop. All right. So what we're gonna do? Pick up the Satanic Bible. Use it. Pick up the Book of Belial. Use it. Because I think the way the Book of Belial works is either having it, picking it up, using it, something like that, nets you uh, deal with the devil automatically. That said... Okay, that was close. Uh, that said, I think because of our health, we're going to be fine as far as deals with the devil go, but not something I want to tangle with too much because I really want to I want to spend that last red heart. I got it. Might as well spend it. It's not like it's going to do me any good. Okay, well, that's where the shop is. Too bad I don't have a key anymore. Man, I just... I just yeah, no, number one, pretty good. Hopefully I can make up for the fact that my range sucks. But everything else is pretty positive about this run. I'm just going to blow that up. Let's see what tarot card we get. If we're lucky, it's the Empress. Well, yeah, this is a good time to use the Empress. So that is effectively... The nail effect might even be greater. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing even more damage than usual. All right. So I actually don't know. Oh, wait. He's Black Gertie. I was wondering. It's like, why hasn't he shot at me yet? Black Gertie only summons enemies. Good to know. Well, actually worked out fairly well for us. Come on. What do we get? No deal with the devil. Weird. We get the caffeine pill instead, which is not great. Not great at all. All right. So what we're going to do is considering uh, we're going to lose a black heart for this. Why am I carrying an amnesia pill around? That's like the worst thing ever. So what I'm going to do, go into the curse room. Hopefully, curse room is going to have something nice for us. Or teleport us to the deal with the devil room. Not sure. But it's worth a shot, right? Right. So what do we got in here? Please? Damn it. Nothing. Cost me a black heart, too. That is rough. All right, Scruff McGruff. Let's go take a bite out of the crime. Uh, let's see. I got the bombs for it. Let's see. I doubt it. Yeah. Oh, right. I already found the secret room. Duh. And in that case, let's -a go. Can't go into the shop on this floor, but I can probably go into the shop on the next floor. Hoping. Crossing my fingers. Hoping not to die. I, I like living, mainly. Living is nice. And this is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. At least once we get the poop out of the way, it should be... Fairly easy to just kind of wreck this guy's business. All right, beautiful. Now let's focus on him before anything else happens. Yeah! Now things are working out well. If we can get Spirit of the Night, we're going to be in a really good position. Well, got to use the nail. Because I, I want to have as many Spirit Hearts as possible for this run. Let's actually take you out first and foremost before I start messing around with the other one. I'm not sure the range on a red fire, but it's not something I want to tangle with too particularly hard. All right. Now this... Oh. All right. Oh, damn it. I completely forgot about that guy. And here's another key, actually. I already have one. Didn't realize. Anyway, uh, what do we got around here? Just these guys. Oh, okay. Their range is not as good as I thought it was going to be, but my range sucks. Here are keys. Okay. So despite the fact that I've taken a little bit of damage here and there, well, that was confusing. Anyway, uh, where, are we, where are we even going? This way. Uh, Xfid has a nice little feature that it's like, you're dropping frames. Doesn't really tell me why, but that's okay. And I, I, I don't think I'm dropping frames anymore. Hoping not. Oh, should probably pause the stream just so I'm not watching myself play this game. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's just these guys. Who's, who aren't as bad purely because Bloody Friend is super useful. Okay. Sort of. Not really following its path. All right, there we go. Come on, die. Damn. Well, it, it works. It's slow, but it works. 
Maybe the drop frames weren't me? I don't know. Whatever. Oh god, I forgot the faces shoot at you. Also, it looks like there's... Oh, shit. I'm trapped behind. Come on. Ah, This is kind of my nightmare as far as... Uh, oh, uh, uh. Well, surprise. Also, need to use the nail. Uh, well, that was confusing. Yeah, so the whole drop frame thing might have actually been a, a result of uh, Twitch actually freaking out for whatever reason. Oh, this sucks. Never mind, less suck. And broken remote, which is absolutely worthless. Let's use the strength card here. Get a damage boost going. Actually, wow, that really boosts my speed too. I never realized. Probably should have saved it for the boss, but then again. Eh. It's like a lemon party. Save that for the boss, that's not a bad idea, unless this room necessitates it. This room, eh, doesn't necessitate it. I was considering it, but it's not necessary. Eh, especially because these guys are going down really fast. Alright, what, what else do we got here? What floor am I even on? Death's one, okay. We can get the map. It's not great. Wow, really? I am... Hmm. It's like dropping frames every once in a while. I don't know why. That's confusing. Uh, the map is not really what we need. We've got one more floor and we haven't found greed yet. Which is concerning. Because I don't really want to... Uh, yeah, I don't really give a shit about the map. I'll just save it for the next floor. Hope, hope we can get something. Uh, and if not, it's not the end of the world. I should probably actually go for- oh wait, no. I've got like at least two more rooms before I have to fight the boss, so I might as well farm. Oh right, I also have not, you know, gotten the item room yet. Go figure! Uh... Well, that's worthless. It's the piggy bank. I don't even like the piggy bank. I don't need the piggy bank. And I don't think I will need it very often. Alright, any of these tinted? No. I have, like, the temptation to just blow it all up anyway, just to see if I could get anything. Anyway, battle room. Really don't need to go in here apart from the fact that it would be nice to have one more nail charge. And this way I get the nail charge for, well, something a little bit more apropos. Let's just beat the crap out of things and call it, call it a day. I guess I could probably use lemon party. Lemon party! Let's just hope we didn't need that against the boss. And we get our, we get our nail charge, which I... Uh, hold on. That one's tinted. Um. Wow! Okay, we're coming back for that one. Um. Jeez. Three spirit hearts from one item. Or from one tinted rock. That is ridiculous. And really nice. Alright. Let's go. Looks like we're, we're up against the Headless Horseman right off the bat. Let's actually take out the, the horse first. I don't think I usually do that, actually. Oh, right. I forgot. There's bloody pools aren't mine. Alright. Horseman's down. Now the easy part. Just the head. Yeah! And we get a horse if I really want to. No. And... Wow, this is just... Yeah, I, I don't even need to go back for those extra spirit hearts. This is ridiculous. But, uh, well, here we are. Nothing. Horsey! So, on one hand, flight would be really nice. Same, same time consistent spirit heart generation is just really encouraging. Actually, you know what? I probably have enough cash. Let's just go by the map. Especially if I can get the compass. Because map and compass at the same time? Eh, pretty good deal. Otherwise, eh. I don't know. Like, you really just don't need the map in comparison to like most other items. It's weird. And I'm dropping frames again. Why? I don't freaking know. Alright, well... But it stops almost. No, it doesn't. It's like every other time, I don't. I don't, honestly don't even understand right now. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Okay, flight would have been useful there. I, I think at this point, I'm just going to accept that I might just be dropping frames left and right tonight. Maybe, maybe people aren't experiencing this as much as I think they are. It's. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Okay, cube of meat has really pulled its weight on this floor. Weird. And we get the sun. Yes. So where do we want to go? Probably down. Yeah, this is a good room for the sun. Where are we going? Uh, 
Well, now we know where everything is, and what we want to do is actually go this way. The Because uh, going to the boss room, actually, in this point, is going to screw us up. Actually, let's take out the jump. Mm. Well, it's okay. We've got a nail charge in, like, two rooms anyway. Just don't take any more damage. So I want to keep that black heart, if I can. If I can't, well, not the end of the world either. Uh, yep. Dropping frames tonight. Ooh, SMB super fan. So, uh, unfortunately, this means goodbye, Blackheart. Oh, wait, no. The Blackheart replenishes. It cost me a spirit heart. But, you know what? SMB super fan? Really, really freaking good. I don't know. It might be my internet tonight. Might be not. I don't know. I, I'm going to stop futz futzing with it. If I spend too much time doing tech support, I'm never going to be able to record properly. So, worst comes to worst, if you're watching the stream... And you're getting crazy drop frames? Well, uh, this will be going up on my YouTube channel almost immediately after. Alright, now this is where things get frustrating. So I want to go in here. Never mind. That was worthless. Well, there goes my black heart. Uh, but I do get money. That was the best. So useful. Much wow. Let's see what we get. Oh. Yeah, this is absolutely worth getting over to. Because this gives us at least one bomb left. Fortunately, I uh, don't have... I don't want to pick up the battery yet. If I can avoid it. Because if we get over here... And... Never mind. Kind of wish I had the nail for this room. Because I am stuck between rocks and... Well, a giant freaking hole. Alright. Oh, whatever. And no good reason to use my nail there, nor there. Alright. Oh, let's use the nail here, save myself a bomb, because it's got a tinted rock. Which does jack shit for us, but eh, whatever. Not the end of the world. Now let's go back for that chest, because I don't want to... I don't want to have to back... I want to ha only have to backtrack as far as I need to. So we get... Guppy's head. Let's get some flies. And... Get out of here. Yeah, no, things are things are working out well. We're one item away from a... We're one item away from a full guppy set, which would be great. All right, let's just scoot by. And I forgot to check the shop. Okay, I do not like these guys. Sam, I am. Also, in retrospect, should have saved that battery for the boss fight. But then again, I can probably fight Moss. Ugh, Moss. I can probably fight Mom without too many issues. Because, yeah, my timing is too slow. Not going to be able to do boss rush. That's okay. Not heartbroken about it. Come on, go down. Let's see what we've got in here. And it's greed. Thought it was. Thought it would be greed. Who is surprised by it being greed? Nobody is surprised. I am fabulously wealthy, and I now no longer have anything to spend my money on. Which is unfortunate. Seriously, I'm dropping frames left and right. All right, hold on. Okay, so unless Xvid is lying to me, I think everything's working now. I don't know. I hate I hate tech support while streaming. This is my stream time. This is my game time. I don't want to have to fix anything while I'm while I'm working. Damn it! All right, well, no big deal. And those are not greed heads. Those are the floaty petunias. Not entirely sure why I'm calling it a petunia. Uh, leave me alone, thank you. And good to go. Fool card, worthless in every respect of the world. So I think I'm just going to try and get the blue flies to kill everything for me. And hopefully we do actually get the deal with the devil on this floor. Because if I can nab it and it's got a guppy item, we are golden. Of course, there's some like some level of like niggling in the back of my head where it's just like, what if you had actually re-rolled the nail in the very beginning? Would you have gotten... Uh, okay, that was closer than I'd like to admit. I'm just trying to bomb out these rocks here instead of, you know, fighting mom. Because they're in the way, and I don't like it. Well, I don't know. Whatever. Like, I, I do a fair amount of damage, despite the fact that I've only gotten one... One damage up this entire run. Alright, all the rocks are gone. Cost me 90% of my bombs, and that's okay. I don't really need them. Uh, unless... Oh, right. Concussive Tears are a damage up. I forgot about that. That's actually really useful. And... I don't know. Feeling pretty good about things. Okay, I trapped in the corner. Not the end of the world either. Just gotta keep trucking. And the thing is that the nail can make life a lot easier on me. So let's grab the bolt. Uh, spirit heart. 
Damn it. Well, actually, that is really good for us. Or Babylon. You're going to uh, pretty much just cut out the competition. By cut out the competition, I mean we're stuck in Horror of Babylon mode. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if the nail actually stacks with the damage boost anymore. So I think the nail might have just become a Satanic Bible uh, stand-in. Wow, there's nothing in this room. Is there? There's nothing whatsoever. That's okay. I can just death and destruction my way through uh, Monstro pretty easily. And then we can go do the battle room. Actually, do I even need to do the battle room? No, I'd rather use the nail charge on this big room over here. It's probably full of nope. The answer is, it absolutely is full of nope, and I'm very glad that I have the uh, nail for this room and this room specifically. As long as none of these rocks explode on me, I'm not terribly concerned. None of them look like bomb rocks, which is super nice. And I'd be able to just bust up a bunch of these if I really wanted to. But that would probably put me in harm's way. And I liked staying in the safest possible location at all times. I really wish I had the Holy Mantle right now, because we'd pretty much be indomitable. Alright, speaking of indomitable, where are we going? This way. Not actually sure what that has to do with indomitability, but, but still. I don't know. It's the thought that counts. And free spirit heart. We've already found the boss room. What kind of butts is this? We don't even have, like, evil. Oh, hell you. Hello. Alright, so, nice benefit here. Kind of shitty, admittedly. In a way. But, nice benefit here. We kill this boss. We get a... I am trapped in a corner. Uh, yeah. Took a little bit of damage. But, because I'm in Horror Babylon mode, plus, you know, every kind of nonsense available... Alright. Horror Babylon mode, we get, like, crazy speed... And there goes our Blackheart. At the very least, this is what all the... Uh, God damn it, it's Necronomicon. Unfortunately, no deal with the devil here. We don't want the Necronomicon. It's just about as useless as the nail. Uh, for us right now. Alright, well, we've got Spirit Hearts aplenty. And... Alright, option A, fuck it. There's nothing, there's no real good reason to stick around on this floor. Save for one, actually. There's one good reason. I'm going to farm up. Okay, this is hairier than I'd like it to be. Balls of steel. Oh, shit, yeah. All right. We're going to check for, uh, secret room. Beautiful. What have we got in here? Uh, well, you were not the man I was expecting in this room. I was not expecting a man in this room. That is the main point I'm trying to make here. Well, I guess I get to go be flagrantly wealthy. Uh, let's see. Any reason to stick around here? Any of these tinted? Maybe these balls of steel, actually. The answer is no, but one of them might be a tears up. Don't have the bombs for it, so let's actually just clear what... Oh, hello. It should be far enough away, it's not going to harm judgment. Yeah! This is the other reason. Womb usually has at least one of these. And... More if you're lucky. And I'd very much like to have one. Uh... Alright, so we get strength, which is pretty worthless in comparison to balls of steel. I'd love to use balls of steel immediately, but, uh, well, I'm going to have a spirit heart after one more room of this, and never mind. Oh. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't pick that one up. God damn it, Judgment. You're worthless to me. Alright, so what we're going to do, uh, avoid it as much as possible, pop this bust up all of the rocks, which apparently just gives us some amount of damage. What's this do? Paralysis. Eh. But we get a spirit heart for our trouble. We have balls of steel, full health, full health. Alright. I was really hoping we get another tears up pill, considering we got one of those earlier. That said, uh, we didn't, and it's not the end of the world. Okay, so we're no longer dropping frames. This is great. I don't have to worry about things anymore. Uh, what's this one? Alright, the fool. Well, I don't need that. We're maxed out. So, uh, now to go do the other risky as shit thing. And by risky as shit, I mean, probably shouldn't have done this. Oh, well, this is what the balls of steel is for. Unless balls of steel gives you three. Shit, I probably just wasted a spirit heart. That's, oh, well, not the end of the world. And we get an arcade. Arcade has judgment. And a blood bank, which is worthless to us. 
Come on, Judgment. Actually give us something that's not an HP up, considering, like, the item rooms were... I mean, the item rooms were actually fairly... Fairly kind to me. But, but still. Come on. Come on. Give me, like, a damage boost. If I could get the one up... Eh, Luckfoot is good enough. Thing is, Luckfoot has a nice little effect for us. Makes our concussive to... Oh, shoot. I've got Curse of the Lost, don't I? Luckfoot makes my concussive tears far more frequent. Of course, I don't actually know what concussion tears even do in my current position. Oh, this is kind of ass. Alright, never mind. Probably should have actually murdered that guy right from the get-go. Don't want mom's toenail. That is all sorts of shit and worthless. Okay. Thank you, orbitals, for blocking damage. I'm going to give you credit for... Oh, I see. They don't... God, they make weird noises when they're concussed. That is freaky. And I'm going to have to do it. That is absolutely not worth it. Now we are uh, pretty much just at, at a mission to avoid picking that thing up while fighting whatever's in this room. That is actually kind of annoying. Oh, well. Yeah. Because if I, if I got in Cricket's head there, oh, we'd be great. Tammy's head would be useless to us. But, I don't know. Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. We eventually, uh, we really just had to fight Fistula and Loki and, and Chubbs. This is, like, the least threatening boss trap room you could run into. And, honestly, my damage is pretty ridiculous. I'm really hoping I can somehow get that last guppy item. Uh, chances are pretty slim, though, considering we have no more deals with the devil. So, the only places it can show up, red chests, or the chest, damn it. It's not the end of the world, though, we've got the nail. And the thing is, since we're in permanent Polaroid invincibility state, plus permanent Horror of Babylon state... Uh, there's no real reason to use the nail, apart from when I need spirit hearts. Which, now is a great time for it. Kind of risky, actually. But, uh... uh as long as they speed through this really fast, they won't hurt me, right? Right? Uh, I'm risking loads of health on this. Sorts of business. What is the map good for if you just immediately get, uh... Curse of the Lost. Wow, yeah, this this run has been cursed a lot for some reason. Oh, well, not the end of the world. Just don't take more damage than I can afford. All right, where are we going? I don't even know. Boss? No boss. Uh, this is quite the room. All right, just don't take damage here. Oh, boy. Okay. I think that's a tears up pill. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get it unless I can somehow figure out how to fly. Okay. Bless my tiny hitbox. My tiny, fleshy hitbox. Alright. I don't even know if we're going in the right direction at this point. Wow, this room is just kind of like chump changing compared to the room I was just in. Because I'm actually a little bit flummoxed as how I didn't take damage there. Any of these tinted? It doesn't matter. I can't get over there. And I found the boss room. Unfortunately, what I'm going to want to do, backtrack a little bit just so I can... Have a nail charge? Eh, screw it. I can probably fight Mom's heart as I am. See, we a oh, wheel of fortune. Should have held on to this one. But what we're hoping for here is cancer. That is a phrase. That is the best phrase. Right? Right. Come on. Don't want Mom's pearl. <sighs> Lucky Rock is useless. Well, I guess I do have all that money for a reason. Actually, really should have kept this earlier. This card for earlier. Two of hearts is worthless to me. Let's just use it over here. Oh, right. It doesn't actually give me anything. Come on. Oh, there we go. Cancer. Right, now I just need to scoot through without picking anything up. Beautiful. My tears rate is insane. Number one plus cancer is pretty freaking ridiculous. And I've already taken damage. So, what I'll probably do is, after this, go off and figure out how to... Jesus Christ. This is pretty nonsense. Okay. Just don't take damage here. Don't take damage here, Wander. You got this in the bag. Got this in the goddamn bag. And let's go get that spirit heart if I can. not Unfortunately, getting cancer is going to be a pain in the butt. Alright. Perfect. So, we have, we have cancer. We don't have uh, any pills, any cards. Beautiful. Let's get out of here. Oh. 
Weird. Alright, so apparently my chat is gooped up a little bit. Oh, okay. So ball, Balls of Steel is actually just two. Good to know. Let's go this way. This is probably where the boss is. Now, we're pretty much in the golden zone here. Because we've got Spirit Heart Generation and crazy damage. A la, you know, permanent Horror of Babylon mode. Plus, a couple of... What the... He does that? Oh, well. Let's just nail here. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Horror of Babylon and the nail are actually different effects. They definitely stack. Good god. I'm like a terrifying cancer baby. Uh, well, I mean, go figure. I'm running around with cancer. But I, I am truly terror incarnate. Now, we have a couple of options here. A, go into the curse room. B, don't go into the curse room. I'm dumb. Never mind. Eh, cost me a spirit heart, but gave me a black heart. Not much of a deal. But I'll go with it anyway. Come on. Yeah, this is good. This is real good. Headless Horseman ain't shit on me. Which is good. I don't want him to shit on me. He doesn't really have a pooper, so I'm not entirely sure where the turds are coming from. Anyway, sup, Isaac? At least his retaliatory strikes are kind of on a on a Boolean basis instead of anything else. Alright, thank you, Pretty Fly. I didn't realize Pretty Fly was a permanent thing once you get the pill. It just kind of lasts around. That's cool, because I effectively have the triumvirate of bullet blocking, so I have... It's, it's not like a one-third chance of blocking a bullet, but it's pretty close, which is pretty encouraging. I should probably avoid that, because I can't block that with my shit. Fortunately, number one is making it a little bit harder to hit, hit Isaac from here, but that's okay, because we're, we're pretty much just schooling the shit out of him right now. See, Isaac... I mean, I'm Isaac. I know where the poop's coming from. It's me. I am his surrogate pooper. That doesn't even make sense. Actually, well, whatever. I have cute little deer antlers, come to think of it. I don't, I don't actually... Yeah, the nail is actually a wildly different effect. That's cool. Also love my tiny hitbox. It is making life so much easier. So, we're going down to the chest now. If I wanted to, I could go farm it uh, one charge on the nail, but I don't really feel like doing it. So, let's just, let's just keep doing what we've been doing. And see what we've got in the chest. All right, so, Onk, Trail of Tears... Pick and quad shot. All right, so everything has become amazing. So first and foremost, quad shot is uh, considerable tears down. However, that's why we're carrying around cancer and number one. So this is kind of concerning to behold. So our damage is uh, non nonsensical to say the slightest. I I've been waiting for this day in a way. The only thing that would make this better is if we had Loki's horns. Uh, Mom's Contact, and, uh, you know, just add to the mix, uh, Homing Tears. Yeah, that would, that would probably make it the best. That or, like, Polyphemus. We'd be shooting slow as shit, though, which is admittedly a detraction. Anyway, I'm just gonna beeline for the blue baby. Uh, there's no, there's no reason for me to tally at this point. I am just, I'm just, holy shit damage. I'm just kicking the shit out of everything, and it's gorgeous. Alright, two of clubs, give me more bombs. I'm not even using them anyway. Interestingly enough, I know, like, Northern Lion uses bombs for, like, combat pur purposes, but I've never truly been able to determine... Ah, he just died before he could do anything to me. Well, suck it. Oh, okay. This is not the adversary, it's the the lost one, I think? I don't, I don't actually remember what his name is. Oh, either way, he is quite dead, and we are very much, very large and in charge. I almost took damage there, purely by just, like, blitzing straight into the fire. That would have been hilarious. What the hell are these things, anyway? Like, they don't really fit with any other enemy classifications. They're just kind of like... Floating... Brainy... Goobers. Huh. I just covered it up with my tears, but there's actually like a little dead Isaac face right there. It's kind of confusing. Oh. Not a big deal. Just keep... God damn, that does a lot of damage. What are my stats right now, anyway? Actually, come to think of it. I'm gonna save a screenshot of that one. Why? Because I want to redo this mission, probably. Oh, I, I forgot. Every time you fight Gertie, you get teleported to the bottom of the room because of how Gertie stands. God damn, I do a lot of damage. Uh, but I definitely want to redo this mission. M this mission. This, uh, this run. How did he not hit me? I want to redo this run as a versus with 
probably a different character, but it would still be a lot of fun. Actually, I'd like to redo it without the nail, just to see how we how we do that way. Anyway, uh, no reason why not to. Fuck you, blue baby. I've got I've got like horns and shit, and a quad shot and shot blocks and I don't even I don't even have words for like what I am right now. Apart from just, like, overwhelmingly powerful and it's beautiful. And it's actually a pretty vanilla run, all things considered. Like, I didn't... Uh, up until Quad Shot, we were just shooting really fast, and that's that was it. I mean, we, we effectively had double cancer, considering number one has a similar effect. Well, that's the first time we've gotten hit this entire floor, come to think of it. I, like, I, could, I can totally just tank him here. I was kind of hoping I could get the Black Heart to even kill him, but, uh, well, that's it for that run. Uh, well... On one hand, I could actually, you know, clear the rest of the floor. On the other hand, there's no real good reason for me to, to do so. So, that was an amazing run. That was really fun. And that's exactly what I needed. A really kick-ass Binding of Isaac Rebirth uh, run. Especially after those couple of kind of mediocre runs in Vigante. Anyway, what do I want to do next? I never really know in this situation. I could do more Cavern Kings. That's always good. I don't know. 